Time to go. This scenery is wonderful. 
Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. Wind strike the inside oh. shall be life goes on. As one with wind and cloud. Go up the ship down! Time to clean up. No. Mercy. Oh, you fool. Be gone. Follow the wind. with nature. Threads of your fate lie in my hand. Wind knows me.
follow the wind. Time to go. Fateful offering. Follow the wind. There are leaves around, and 
I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. What if the Traveler is also unavailable? What am I supposed to do? Well, that's your problem. It was your choice to get into this mess. Oh, but fortunately for you, it appears your savior has just arrived. Hmm? Ah, Traveler. Great, you made it. Huh. Well, it's not like you were ever really busy to begin with. Ugh, Songo! Compared to the Traveler, you're the one who has too much free time. No, I'm very busy. I'm busy standing here. I have to stand here all day. Even if it's a commission you're unwilling to take, your excuse is just pathetic. Yes, that's why I've asked you to come over. Allow me to explain. A key member of the Tenryo Commission has recently gone missing. No one has seen them, and their whereabouts are currently unknown. The Tenryo Commission has entrusted us to find this person discreetly because it would be a hassle for them to look for this person openly for a variety of reasons. Their name is... Kujosara. That's right. The General has gone missing. <sighs> if the General was really missing, the Tenryo Commission would have flipped Inazuma on its head by now. And do you think they would only commission us for a case like that? Please ignore Sango's nonsense, Traveler. In fact, the missing person's name is Shikanoin Heizo. He works as a special detective at the police station. Although his rank is merely a doshin, he is quite competent and held in high regard by the police station. Ugh. Do they think he's more competent than me? <sighs> we get that you don't want to help, Songo, but could you at least try not to make things more difficult here? Sorry, Traveler. Even though I accepted the commission, as you can see, Songo's less than thrilled to be involved in this case. Nope. Not even close. If you really want to know why, it's because I absolutely refuse to deal with that brat's nonsense. The only news that could make me happier than Shikanoin has gone missing would be Shikanoin has been missing for a hundred years! <clears throat> Needless to say, Songo and Heizo have a bit of a history. Um, ah, uh, uh, well, it's a little more serious than that. According to Sango, Heizo was an obstacle in her path to the Temple of Truth. Like a yappy dog that was constantly in the way. <sighs> Even though Heizo has a unique personality, he's actually a nice guy. Really, I've learned a lot from him. So I can't just ignore this case. Even if Songo doesn't approve. At the very least, I could entrust the commission to someone capable and trustworthy. Like, huh? No, no, it's not like that. Listen, I'll pay the entire amount originally promised by the Tenryo Commission, and I'll even personally throw in some additional funds. I'm really hoping you can take this commission, Traveler. If Heizo truly is in danger, I know he'll be safer with you by his side. Actually, we get along great, but Songo has always asked me to keep my distance and not to act like I know him in public settings. So, when people ask, I usually just say I've met Chikanoin a few times. If it hadn't been for today's incident, I'd... Uh, well, let's not get into that. Anyway, could you please help look for him? Well, that's about all I have to tell you. Oh! Please take this commission letter from the police station. If you find Hazo, return there and report back to them.
Oh, it's you. The captain of Swordfish 2? My name is Shibata. I'm in charge of the watch here. May I inquire as to what the captain needs? So his name is Shikano Inhezo, huh? Yes, I'm familiar with the detective. He used to stroll around the area. Her Excellency had assigned me to keep a close eye on him at the time, fearing that he would do something unpleasant, but I eventually realized that he acted more like he was on a trip or something. Come to think of it, I believe he was recently spotted in the area east of the Sanganamiya Shrine. Please feel free to go there and take a look for yourself. But a poor tourist with empty pockets. Please, you can just let me go. Shut up, this <laughs> Come, wind strike. <laughs> Falling leaves. Adorn my night. could be valiant enough to wipe the floor with these guys so easily. Turns out it was the distinguished traveler. Really, I can't thank you enough. Of course I was aware of you long before you arrived in Inazuma. Though the Sakoku decree managed to keep the country locked up, it wasn't able to stop the incredible stories about you. Every day, all of those little stories would come scurrying over to my desk, like files with little feet. I was actually thinking about going to meet you once I wrapped up the business at hand. Who would have guessed that you'd show up first? <laughs> ah, I got so excited, I nearly forgot to introduce myself. Ahem. The name's Shikanoin Heizo, Special Detective of the Tenryo Commission. It's a pleasure to meet you, Traveler. I wish you all the best on your journey through Tevat, by the way. I guess that means I've taken over as the main character in your story today. I've always heard that you take commissions from all kinds of people, helping everyone out with everything you can imagine. So now it's my turn to take your help, huh? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. That was already obvious to me. It's no coincidence that you've arrived here. Because that would be the stuff of an epic novel. The two protagonists of the story both travel to Watatsumi Island by chance and cross paths as if by fate. The traveler from afar heroically rescues the weak and defenseless detective from the clutches of the ruthless Nobushi. Ah, <sighs> traveler, you are so dreamy. Unfortunately, though, I don't believe in coincidences. So, guessing you came to me on the police station's commission, didn't you? I'm a detective. Can you guess what gave it away? <laughs> Sounds like you already have some ideas about the work of a detective. Let me ask you this. What's that your little sidekick is holding? If I'm not mistaken, it's a commission letter from the police station. Yeah, I'm also just taking a look. Hmm. She can look, but you can't. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't be like that. After all, this is the first time I've seen a voice. I must admit, I'm most intrigued. Huh? Voice? What are you talking about? A vision is an external magical focus, right? Well, similarly... A voice is an external voice box. I've heard that the Traveler isn't very talkative, but given how chatty you are, you must be her voice, right? That sounds awful! Paimon's not somebody's voice! Paimon's emergency food! Uh, uh, no, uh, 
by the Nobushi, weren't you? Mm, pretty suspicious if you ask Paimon. Come out with it, mister. What kind of schemes are you up to? Sheesh. For someone who says they don't want to be a voice, you sure do talk a lot. Hmm. <laughs> well, let me think for a moment. Yes, all this started a long time ago, during the war. Kujo Takayuki, who was head of the Tenryo Commission at the time, had secretly asked me to investigate the military capabilities of Sanganamiya. But I had already grown tired of the guy for a while, <laughs> so I simply treated the trip as a paid vacation. I had heard that Watatsumi Island is really beautiful. As for the mission, I thought I'd just come up with some random excuses or whatever when I reported back. But guess what? The first night I arrived on Watatsumi Island, I had a dream. The dream contained only one message, an echo resounding from the depths of the earth that kept ringing in my ears, saying... Something vital is missing on this island. Isn't that bizarre? Something vital has gone missing on this island. Has something evaporated into thin air? Hmm... What could it be? Paimon bets it must be something delicious. You know, because the soil of Watatsumi Island can't grow crops. There's a shortage of food here. Oh. Food, huh? Hmm... How about you, Traveler? What do you think is missing? Oh, that was an unexpected response. <laughs> It'd be right at home in a novel. Interestingly, I didn't have the same dream again after I left this place, so I became even more intrigued. Was this really just some random dream? Some people believe that dreams represent the Divine's helping hand, which I suppose is understandable. However, if you ask me, Dreams have nothing to do with the gods. Instead, they are flashes of intuition. It was my intuition telling me that there was something important about this island that... Poof! Suddenly vanished. So I decided to accept this little commission from my intuition and investigate to see if I could come up with any compelling findings. Unfortunately, the investigation has had little progress up to this point. Who knows? I felt there was something peculiar about them, so I pretended to get captured to see if there were any leads that would serve. Nah, don't worry about it. These guys were just a bunch of small fries. Besides, your arrival is much more important to me. I have a feeling you can help me find the answer to my dream. So how would you like to partner up on this one? We can work together to solve the mystery. Yes, of course, I understand. But let me ask one more question. Did the police station say they are looking for me because of something important? Well, then it's probably nothing major. Most likely they're short on staff or something petty like that, and they happen to remember their model employee. So since we're already here, why don't we just solve this puzzle together? Once everything is settled, I'll gladly accompany you back to the police station, or anywhere else you'd like to go. What do you think? <laughs> It's a deal then, partner. So, let's get started, shall we? First, we can search the camp for clues. Hey, isn't this crystal mirror? So, have you found anything? Yes, I've found pretty much the same. And there really are a lot. Aren't these all super expensive? 
Oh, these must be the valuable things that went missing from the island. That's it. The Nabushi must have stolen them all. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far. The Nabushi would be very hard pressed to find many opportunities to get their hands on commodities like these. Huh? What do you mean? Did the Nabushi gather all this themselves? No, that's unlikely. Crystal marrow is a rare material for crafting weapons, and Sango pearls are an even more precious commodity. Here's what I think. Due to Watatsumi's poor soil, the island's economy is quite fragile and heavily reliant on the trade of these special resources. So, it's absolutely vital that they keep them under lock and key and well out of the Nobushi's reach. Which means, they got lucky with a huge batch like this, my guess is they ambushed a caravan. <laughs> if we go ask around the Sanganamiya Shrine, we can find out if there have been any recent instances of caravans being plundered. Perfect. I knew you'd be a huge help. <laughs> well, duh! The Traveler is Paimon's companion, after all. Captain, I see you found the detective. <sighs> Watatsumi Island sure is a beautiful place. I don't think I could ever leave. <laughs> you can stay as long as you like, granted you don't cause any trouble, that is. Her Excellency has stated that all friendly visitors are welcome. Incidents of stolen goods? Not that I'm aware of. Her Excellency has recently launched several measures to boost the economy including the development of trade routes and establishing our own caravans. Troops have also been deployed to protect them, so it is only reasonable to assume that the current trade routes are already very safe. Any looting or theft would be practically unthinkable. That's strange. Then where did the Nobushi get those goods from? Huh? You mean you found goods of unknown origin? Yep, and it's all Sango pearls and crystal marrow, so we know it's local. Could there have really been a theft that hasn't been reported? That shouldn't be the case. <sighs> well, perhaps you could go ask Todoroki. He's responsible for the caravans and is usually in the village at night preparing the goods. If something has happened, he should know about it. Great. Thank you for all the info. Let's go. Hey, traveler! It's been a while. I miss you. Uh, why didn't you inform me that you'd be coming over today? Ah, General Goro. You're dismissed, Shibata. You may go about your other duties while I catch up with the Traveler. Yes, General Goro. I overheard you discussing a case of stolen goods. Is that right? That's right! We found a lot of Watatsumi's valuable products in an Ibushi camp! I see. So you've come to ask if we know of any relevant cases. Well... I'm ashamed to say that... Yes, the caravans have been plundered. And not just once, I'm afraid. We had already dispatched additional forces to protect the caravans, yet the crooks still managed to get away with the goods. And you're concerned that if this kind of news were to get out, it would undermine the confidence of other caravans. So you didn't make it public, and instead kept the news to only a select few. Ah, that's correct. I never expected you to be so concerned about Watatsumi's affairs, Detective Hazo. <laughs> Just a force of habit, really. As a detective, I notice these kinds of things. Oh, so you two already know each other? Actually, I've only heard of Detective Hazo from the soldiers' reports. We've never met in person. Ah, darn it. You're right. Now that you mention it, I've been on Watatsumi Island all this time and still haven't properly introduced myself. Man alive, please forgive me. It's a pleasure to meet you, General Goro. I'm Shikanoin Heizo of the Tenryo Commission. Yes, it's a pleasure to meet you too. I'd like to express my gratitude to you for stepping in and helping recover those goods. Ah, don't mention it. You never know what you'll find when you're out for a stroll. But, if the source of the problem is not addressed, I'm afraid this sort of situation will continue cropping up for you. Yes, of course. Not only have we reassured the affected caravans, but we also dispatched personnel to investigate the culprits. 
The reports indicated that the stolen goods were being delivered to a merchant of the International Trade Association named Godot. It all seems pretty unusual. We suspect that there are bigger players behind Godot, and that their target is none other than Watatsumi Island's valuable resources. But unfortunately, it would be difficult for us to investigate further, given that... Given that, Rito, the island where the International Trade Association is located is not part of your territory, yes. They have cleverly picked their base of operations. I can see you catch on quickly, Detective Hazo. <laughs> It's my guess that you're telling us this because you're going to ask us to assist you in finding who's behind all this, right? <laughs> you're always thinking one step ahead. Yes, those were exactly my intentions. And of course, we will prepare a generous reward for you. The recent end of the war, trade and commerce have now become an important component of Watatsumi Island's development. Ensuring safety of the trade routes is critical, and we can't afford any further incidents. So... Will you please help Watatsumi Island, Detective Hazo? I'm willing to assist, but it all depends on what she wishes. Great! With both Detective Hazo and the Traveler on the case, I'm sure it'll be solved in no time. The situation is now in your capable hands. I look forward to hearing your report when you get back. All right, we'll take care of it. Traveler, let's go discuss where to head from here. so he can't overhear us, are you? Very perceptive. Seems even Paimon has her moments. Let me ask you, do you believe in intuition? Huh? Intuition? Where are you going with this? My intuition tells me that General Goro is lying. What? How could you say that? Uh, although he did seem a little on the serious side today, but... Good people can be deceptive, too. After all, everyone has their secrets. Well, in my opinion, the timing of his appearance was a little too coincidental. Sanganamiya's soldiers have been keeping an eye on me for the entire time I've been on Watatsumi Island, yet I had never seen General Goro even once. But today he came out and met with us, and even commissioned us to investigate a case. Maybe that's because the Traveler is here today, and Goro thinks she's more capable. Really? Huh. Then that makes things even more peculiar. If there are powerful players behind this case, and he needs to draw upon external support, then he should have taken action sooner rather than wait until today. A more plausible explanation is that the items we discovered are linked with some unspeakable secret, and he had to intervene to prevent us from digging any deeper. Then he put up a smokescreen to mislead us. I surmise that investigating the merchant Godot on Rito will yield no results. Whoa, are you serious? Uh, but this is all just a hunch you have, right? Actually, there is another key factor behind my reasoning, though you may not believe me. I sense something... special about Goro. Something special? Yes. Whatever is missing on this island, I sense it in him. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold it right there! Are you saying Goro's a thief? As in he took something valuable? It's not that simple. I can't fully explain it. It's just my... Uh, intuition. Sure, I trust your judgment. But perhaps you're overlooking someone else, the true leader here. It's simple. We should just investigate whatever it is they're trying to hide from us. And what were we planning to do just before Goro showed up? Um... Oh, we were going to talk to the leader of the caravans! Uh, yeah! Someone named Todoroki! Bingo! There's no time to lose. Let's go talk to this Todoroki.
Todoroki, the shipment has arrived and is ready for inspection. Good, let's go. Hey, it's Todoroki! Shh, keep quiet. Let's follow him and see where he leads us. Your intel was spot on. When we arrived, the Nobushi were all still asleep. <laughs> we captured them all, and the goods were retrieved and brought back here. I'll take a look. Hmm. Everything seems in order. Good work. It's nothing. Thanks to the efforts of your caravan, the price of grain in the village has decreased. That's right. And who would have thought that the injuries we sustained during the war would have such a lingering effect on our bodies? But thankfully, you also brought back some life-saving medicine. Things are improving, thanks to the help from those up top. Oh, by the way, what is the state of the village's inventory? Make sure that it's confirmed tonight. I have to leave tomorrow morning after I go to the Sanganomiya Shrine and get instructions from General Goro. Don't worry. We've already prepared the list. Just follow us. Soldiers from Sanganomiya seized the Nabushi stolen goods? But didn't Goro say all the stolen go- This box is packed so tight! It looks like it could burst! Let's see what's inside! Huh? What are all these plants and flowers? Oh, there's a small note here! And Todoroki said he'll get instruction. Whoa! Chingshin? Paimon was expecting to find Sango Pearls. Now's our chance to look around and see if we can find any leads. Glaze lilies? What are these doing here? Shouldn't it be Crystal Marrow or something? <laughs> General Goods, handy and cheap. The price is... So, did you find anything? Wow, look at all the Qingxin! And Glaze Lilies, too! There are also tons of other plants and flowers Paimon doesn't know here. Weird. These are valuable raw ingredients for producing medicine. If these few crates were to be imported from Rito, the price would be jaw-dropping. On top of that, these items seem to lack a tax clearance certificate, meaning that they were most likely smuggled. Yes, very interesting. Now, where did the Nobushi get these goods? How about you? Did you find anything else? Foreign Trade Association? 
I've never heard of such an organization in Rito. And if it's regarding foreign trade, then smuggling is an even more likely possibility. All right. In which case, I have a rough hypothesis. First, we... Huh? Who goes there? Oh no! We've been spotted! Huh? Wait, Captain? Is that you? Oh, so it's you, Captain. You had me worried there. We almost mistook you for bandits. <laughs> Captain, do you remember us? During the war, I was in the field hospital with Masashi. Tepe brought you to see us and helped find medicine for us. Hey, come on now. The captain wouldn't forget. I gotta tell you, Captain, we all miss you. We haven't seen you ever since the end of the war. When we heard that you were coming here, we just assumed you were only going to see General Goro and Her Excellency. The guys are all really hoping to see you. We're fine. You don't have to worry about us, Captain. No, you're not fine. Captain, you may not be aware, but Masashi previously fainted on the front lines. The doctor thought that it might be a neurological condition caused by overstimulated emotions. It's pretty serious. According to the doctor, if it hadn't been for the medication he's been taking, he would have developed dementia. And that was assuming the best case scenario. You're one to talk. Don't forget why I fainted in the first place. It's because I heard that you got yourself killed by an arrow. I couldn't handle all the emotion. Later, I found out that he'd been shot in the buttocks, and it was only a mild injury. I had an emotional breakdown for nothing. What do you mean, for nothing? I got shot not by one, but two arrows in a row. The first arrow was to the left cheek, and the second arrow was also to the left. And, because the arrows were poisonous, the wound still hasn't completely healed yet. I have to apply ointment every day, and I'm constantly worried it might reopen while I sleep. Look on the bright side. At least we're still alive. Yeah, I suppose you're right. But enough about us. What brings you here, Captain? Oh, these goods are all seized from the hands of Nobushi and treasure hoarders. Todoroki was the one who provided us with the intel. He mentioned there were bandits here and there, so we went and took care of them while also confiscating the goods. By the way, Captain, you still haven't met Todoroki, have you? He's the one we're working for now. Her Excellency recently announced plans to stimulate the economy and created the caravans, with Todoroki at the helm. Yeah, he's proven to be quite capable. Even though he was just a farmer before, he's now successfully running the caravans. And his two sons were also our brothers in arms. Both received a special medal of honor from General Goro, which is quite remarkable, don't you think? So, as injured veterans, we've been reassigned to Todoroki. He's the one who gives us orders and pays our salaries now. What do they call that again? It's called changing careers, dummy. Ah, right. Changing careers. Anyway, I think the whole caravan thing is wonderful. Our region wasn't very prosperous to begin with, and the land can't grow any crops. We have to pay a hefty price just to get basic food from outside. I can't even imagine trying to maintain and feed an army like we did during the war. I see. I think I understand the general situation now. May I ask where the apprehended criminals are? Oh, uh, and you are? Ah, I see. The captain's friend. It should be okay to tell you then. We apprehended all the culprits and escorted them to a temporary location not far from here. Unfortunately, Masashi and I have other duties tonight and won't be able to take you there. Why don't you wait for a moment and I'll find someone else to show you the way. I'm pretty sure I've already got a grasp on what's going on. All I need now is to confirm it with the apprehended bandits. Let's go. Are you still a little confused? <laughs> Let me help connect the dots. This whole thing was actually quite similar to a case I once worked on previously. It was a case involving the trade of prohibited items, and they employed an old trick to execute the deal. The culprit would first go strolling down the street, 
until they knocked over a pedestrian on purpose. <laughs> sir, please forgive us, sir. We are nothing more than petty thieves. <laughs> sir, what do I look like? A commissioner? Does my friend here look like a commissioner to you? Um, uh, uh, officer! Officer! First, I'm gonna need to ask you a few questions. Uh, sure. G go ahead, H ask anything. The soldiers discovered many valuable goods in your camp. The goods don't appear to be from around here. So the question is, where did they come from? Oh, the goods? Uh, right, we picked them up at the beach. You picked them up? Uh, well, no, we uh, actually stole them. Be honest now. Tell me the whole story. Yes, sir. I, I, I mean, officer. <laughs> uh, we took those goods from a small merchant ship just off the beach, but we didn't exactly steal them. Uh, you see, the ship's guard running the moment they saw us. They abandoned the goods, and we simply came and picked them up. But next thing we know, a group of soldiers arrives, and we're all apprehended. <laughs> Talk about bad luck. We didn't even have a chance to stash away the goods before we got caught. You say that the merchant ship's guards fled without putting up a fight. <laughs> you expect me to believe that? We just assumed they were scared witless and didn't have the guts to fight. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not bragging or anything, but <laughs> our boss is pretty intimidating. With his massive muscle and strength, he can scare anyone. <laughs> you really expect us to believe all this? No, 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 you gotta believe me. Just the other day, we scared off an entire squad of soldiers. When they noticed us, they went running and dropped their goods. <laughs> I, I, I swear. I still remember seeing tons of Songo pearls and crystal marrow in that load. Oh, nice and shiny, too. Ooh, it was amazing. Unfortunately, a bunch of pirates came later and snatched those goods. It just happened that our boss had diarrhea that day and couldn't hold off the pirates. Ah, <sighs> this luck of ours. Wait a tick. Pirates? Yep, no doubt about it. They came on a massive ship, and their captain was a pretty lady with an eye patch. <laughs> we had no idea how powerful she was. It was like, boom, boom, thud. Only took three hits before she knocked out the boss. <gasps> A pretty lady with an eye patch. Oh, does this description remind you of someone, Paimon? Uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Doesn't remind Paimon of anyone. Okay. And how about you? <laughs> really? Okay, I'll take that as a no, then. It appears that the situation is just as I suspected. Todoroki is striking a shady deal with a group of pirates, while General Goro appears to be assisting with the cover-up. What? How could that be? Todoroki said that he'd be going to Sanganomiya early tomorrow morning to get Goro's instructions before the caravan leaves. Now is the time to address any doubts you may have. Tomorrow morning will be our moment to confront them. Hopefully, my final question will be answered then as well. The question of what important thing this island is missing. I can feel some connection to the question in Goro, Todoroki, and even Takuda and Masashi. Hopefully, we'll finally have an answer tomorrow. <sighs> Let's get some rest. I'll see you at Sanganamiya tomorrow morning.
Who are you? Hello, Todoroki. I'm Shikanoin Heizo, special detective of the Tenryo Commission. I believe you've been manipulating large-scale illegal trades for some time now. Mind if we talk about that for a bit? <laughs> you can't just go around spewing such nonsense, young man. And what if I'm not talking nonsense? Ridiculous. I don't have time to listen to this. Get out of here, you little brat. <laughs> I know I'm on the younger side compared to you, Todoroki. So I'm sure you must have heard the old saying. Off the scale, some goods only weigh a couple pounds, but on the scale, they weigh more than a thousand. So the question is, do you want to put your goods on the scale or not? What are you... <laughs> well, nothing. All I want to hear is you personally confirming what we already know to be the truth. Masashi! Tokura! Arrest these people! Huh? Todoroki, what's wrong? Who dares to cause trouble at Sango no Miya Shrine? Huh? Wait, it's... Captain? What are you doing? These crooks are trying to pry into the secrets of Watatsumi. We mustn't let them go. But, uh, no. There must be some kind of misunderstanding. Todoroki, this is the captain of Swordfish 2, one of our, our own. <laughs> It doesn't matter who they are. Remember what General Goro told you? The long-term goal of Watatsumi is to revive its trade and commerce. And since you have been assigned to work with me, it's my orders that count around here. I don't care if they were your captain. Would you dare disobey orders? I... Uh... uh what do we do? Well, what are you waiting for? All right. I see how it is. If you two won't do it, I will. I really hoped it wouldn't come to this. But... Here we go. Wait! Everyone, stand down! General Goro! You're here. My apologies, Traveler, Detective Hazo. I wasn't telling you the truth. Todoroki? The Traveler here is the hero who saved Watatsumi Island. Without her, Watatsumi Island would never have found the peace it has today. We mustn't raise our weapons against her. How could you be so naive, General Goro? If we let them go free, then who's to say the Shogunate won't come after us tomorrow? If the Shogunate decides to investigate, we won't be able to hide the truth. I wouldn't allow them to take you, Todoroki. <sighs> Let's not kid ourselves. If going to jail could solve the problem, I would go and turn myself into the Tenryo Commission right now. The question is, what are we going to do with the goods? Will you be able to keep them? Not to mention the chance of astronomical fines. Can you afford that? Goro, we both know that Watatsumi Island is a barren land. Plant a hundred radishes here and maybe only three would grow. And those three combined would still be smaller than just one carrot imported from elsewhere. You can't grow food or medicinal herbs here, and if we buy them from Rito, we pay exorbitant taxes. My eldest son died fighting on the battlefield. But do you know how my second son died? He died because there was no medicine to treat him. You awarded both of them medals of honor. But did that save their lives? Can medals heal Tokura and Masashi's wounds? No. It was the medicine that I got that saved their lives. If we detain them today, the Shogunate will never know what we've done. Besides, we're only a few months away now. We will set them free once the new bill is passed in just a few months, and everything will be okay. None of what happened here will be mentioned again, and life on Watatsumi Island will continue to improve. <sighs> I understand, Todoroki, but they won't... I can trust the Traveler won't, but the detective here is a Tenryo Commission officer. Uh, forget it. You're the general. I'm just a radish farmer. It's a new commodity tax bill currently being drafted by the Kanjo Commission. The bill exempts taxes on goods that are in short supply on Watatsumi Island. Once the bill's introduced, We'll be able to buy commodities that we need from regular marketplaces. Oh, 
I see. Man alive. I wish I had known sooner. <laughs> in that case, how about we put your fears at ease and I'll stick around here a little longer. You know, until the bill is introduced. Huh? Oh, uh, D Detective Hazel, are you saying that... You mean you're willing to stay here, young man? Come on, you two. What's with the strange looks? You've been keeping me under close surveillance, haven't you? Surely you must have noticed that aside from being a detective, I'm also an ordinary tourist who likes to enjoy good scenery. I believe that after the new commodity bill is passed, there will be more and more traffic between the two sides, and more and more people will be coming to visit Watatsumi Island. I have to take the opportunity now and enjoy this place while I still have it all to myself. Before long, tourists will start pouring in. Ha! Huh. Thank you, Detective Hazo. On behalf of the people of Watatsumi. My pleasure. But one good turn deserves another, does it not? Oh, you mean there's something you wish to request? I suppose you could say I'm from the Shogunate, but the traveler next to me isn't. As far as I know, she is planning to visit other nations soon, and it is unclear if she will return to Narukami Island or not. Therefore, there's no need to limit her freedom, right? I'm sure no one else will hear of what happened today. Am I right, Traveler? Well, it's settled then. She will always be an important partner to Watatsumi, and I would never dream of limiting her freedom. So please, don't worry, Detective Hazo. I'll hold you to that. But if I ever find out you've lied to me again, there's a chance I'll lose my cool. I'm sorry for not telling you the truth earlier. It's a serious matter, and I didn't want outside parties to become involved. But today, I realized my poor judgment. How could I possibly hide anything from Detective Hazo and the Traveler? <laughs> I'm glad you understand now. But, in all honesty, I'm the one who should be thanking you. It's because of you that I was finally able to reach an answer. After all, nothing makes a detective happier than putting a case to rest. Ah, I understand now. You really are an interesting person, Detective Hazo. <laughs> No, I'm afraid you don't quite get what I mean. Uh, I I'm sorry? Wait, wait! Paimon gets this one! It's the answer to your question, right? The one about the thing you sensed coming from Goro and the others. Now you figured it out! What? Uh, the thing you sensed coming from me? But I always have excellent personal hygiene. <laughs> hey, uh, Traveler, could I talk to you for a moment? Besides, I haven't had a chance to thank you yet. Hey, there you are. Uh, come here, look, look. It's beautiful, isn't it? Watatsumi Island. It's remarkable how such a barren land can give life to such wonderful and stunning scenery. To be honest, I am grateful to you for this trip. Before you arrived, I was running around like a headless chicken. <laughs> Even if I happened to find out what was going on here, I wouldn't have been able to uncover any concrete information without you present. I'm just sorry that I promised I'd accompany you back. It appears that I won't be able to do so for the time being. So please, uh, cover for me in the meantime, okay? <laughs> nah, it's all in the past now. Let's just chalk it up as an intriguing experience I had on my trip here. Besides, that's not what I wanted to investigate anyway. Yes. Everyone you led me to and everything they said brought me closer to the answer. And now I finally get it. Watatsumi Island is an ancient land where the soil is poor and many crops do not grow because it's lacking a certain thing. But what the inhabitants of this land do have is bravery. They were courageous enough to stand up and resist the gods and accomplish what they knew could not be done. 
this is yet another instance in which that certain thing shines. That missing element. That certain thing is what I sensed present in Goro, Todoroki, Tokuda, and Masashi. Which is... the true vitality of this land. I guess I was mistaken when I declared that something was missing. That something from this island had evaporated into thin air. Because even something that evaporates is not gone. It's still there, just in a different state of being. When water is heated by fire, it evaporates and eventually finds its place in the sky. Similarly, when the land was harmed, its vitality evaporated and eventually found its place among the inhabitants. This is the final answer I've been searching for. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> thanks again. You know, even though we just met, I wish you could be my partner all the time. <laughs> Call me Grady, I guess. But, of course, I know that's impossible. You have your own journey to complete. So I'll just keep doing what I can. Hopefully keeping my memories from evaporating safe and sound in my mind. That way, I'll always be able to remember these beautiful things. The beauty of Watatsumi Island. The people who are full of life and vitality. And you two, who are by my side. vital is missing on this island. Isn't that bizarre? Something vital has gone missing on this island. Has something evaporated into thin air? Hmm. What could it be? Paimon bets it must be something delicious. You know, because the soil of Watatsumi Island can't grow crops. There's a shortage of food here. Oh. Food, huh? Hmm. How about you, Traveler? What do you think is missing? You mean the Great Serpent? Well, that's an interesting answer. But the Electro Archon hasn't abandoned this place. Interestingly, I didn't have the same dream again after I left this place. So I became even more intrigued. Was this really just some random dream? Some people believe that dreams represent the Divine's helping hand, which I suppose is understandable. However, if you ask me, dreams have nothing to do with the gods. Instead, they are flashes of intuition. It was my intuition telling me that there was something important about this island that... Poof! Suddenly vanished. So I decided to accept this little commission from my intuition and investigate to see if I could come up with any compelling findings. Unfortunately, the investigation has had little progress up to this point. Who knows? I felt there was something peculiar. Nah, don't worry about it. These guys were just a bunch of small fries. Besides, your arrival is much more important to me. I have a feeling you can help me find the answer to my dream. So how would you like to partner up on this one? We can work together to solve the mystery. Yes, of course, I understand. But let me ask one more... Well, then it's... So since we're already... Once everything is... You really care about others, don't you? <laughs> You'll make an excellent partner. <laughs> well, let's get started, shall we? 
First, we can search the camp for clues. Hey, isn't this crystal mirror? Ooh, what's the shiny thing? Oh, it's a sound per So, have you found anything? Yes, I've found pretty much the same. And there really are a lot. Aren't these all super expensive? Oh, these must be the valuable things that went missing from the island! That's it! <laughs> huh? No, that's... Here's what I... So, it... <laughs> if we go ask around the Sanganamiya Shrine, we can... Perfect. Captain, I see you found the detective. <sighs> <laughs> you can stay as long as you like. Incidents of s troops have also... That's strange. Huh? Yep. And Could there have really been a... Th He's responsible for... Great. Thank you. Hey, travel... Ah, uh, you're dismissed. Yes, General... I overheard... That's right. I see. <sighs> we had already dis... And you're concerned... <sighs> oh. Actually, I've... Ah, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yes, it's a pleasure... Ah, uh, don't mention it. But if the... Yes, of course. The reports indicate... It all seems pretty unusual. We suspect that there are bigger... But unfortunately, it would be difficult for us to investigate further... Given that Rito... I can see you catch on quickly, Detective Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> the recent end of... So... I'm willing to assist, but it all... Great! With both Detective Hazo and the Traveler on the case, I'm sure it'll be solved in no time. The situation is now in your capable hands. I look forward to hearing your report when you get back. All right, we'll take care of it. Traveler, let's go discuss where to head from here. I follow the wind. Yeah. Very percept. Let me ask you. Huh? My intuition. What? <laughs> Good people can be deceptive too. Well, Sanganami is so. But today he came. Maybe that's because. Really? A more plausible. Then he put up a smoke screen to mislead. Oh. Actually, I sense some. Something's. Yeah. That simple. I can't fully explain. Sure. <laughs> Being too suspicious, am I? Well. Even suspicious people have their duty to uphold. <laughs> In which case, I'll stay here and get back to you once I figure out what the secret of this place is. What if the traveler is also on? Well, that. Oh, but fortunately for you, it appears. Hmm? Ah, traveler. Great. Huh. Ugh, so compared to the traveler, you're the one who has too much free time. No. I Even if it's a commission you're unwilling to take, your excuse is just pathetic. Yes, that's why a key member of the Tenryo Commission, their name. Kujosara. <sighs> Please ignore Sanga. He works as a. Ah, do they. <sighs> Sorry, Traveler. As you can see, Songo- Nope. And if you really want to know why, it's because I absolutely ref- The only news- <clears throat> Um, according to- Like a yappy dog that was constantly in- <sighs> So I can't just ignore this case, even if Song- Huh? 
I really hope if Hazo truly is in danger, actually, we... So, when... Uh, well, let's not get into that. Well... Oh, it's you, the captain of sort. So his name is Shikano. Her Excellency had assigned me to come to think of it. Time to go. Come on, you guys. I'm nothing but a poor tourist with empty pockets. Please, you can just let me go. Shut up, skin Really, I can't thank you enough. Of course I was a though the Sako could every day I was actually ah, I got so ahem. I wish you all the best on your journey through Tevat, by the way. Huh. I've always heard that you So now it's my turn to take that was already off because that would be the stuff the traveler <sighs> Unfortunately though, I I'm a <laughs> Let me ask you this. Too scary. Yeah, I'm also just a. <laughs> oh, come on. Huh? A vision is. I've heard that the travel. That sounds. Uh, uh, we came here. Come out with it, Miss. Sheesh. Mm. <laughs> Kujo Takayu. But I had already grown. As for the mi But guess what? The dream continues. Something vital is missing on this island. Isn't that bizarre? Hi, Mom, Betsy, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly, I some people... B However, it was my intuition, so I decided to... Unfortunately, the inv... Who knows? Nah, don't worry about... So how would you like to partner up on this one? Uh, yes, of course, I understand. Well, s so since we're already... Once everything is... Uh, in that case... Oh, look who showed up. Hey, Zo, you're finally back. Listen, if you took any longer to come back, everyone at the police station would be toast. You say that every time I come back, Uesugi. However, something does feel a little unusual about the police station this time. Come on, would I ever lie to you? Madam Kujo Saro is here, and she's on the warpath. So be on the lookout. <laughs> What's that lady doing here? Toshin Shikanoin, I see you've finally returned. Please, enlighten us. What have you been doing recently? Uh, okay. I was just out investigating a case. Don't give me that. I checked the records here. You didn't take any cases. Uh, actually, it's a case of personal relevance to me. These two can attest to that. Hmm? Traveler? Paimon? What are you two doing here? We're the ones who brought Hazel back! Brought him back? Can someone please explain? Uh, well, Madam Kujosara, 
Because we couldn't locate Doshin Shikanoin, we commissioned Detective Ryuji from the detective agency. Shortly after, Ryuji returned to tell us uh, that he had given the commission to the traveler, <clears throat> and then... Ugh, it used to be that the Tenryo Commission assisted others with disappearances. But it seems these days, others are now assisting us. You've done it this time, Shikanoin. I think I've really seen it all. <laughs> I mean, is it really so unusual for officers and citizens? Yeah, it was kind of weird, but it was definitely an investigation. He even pretended to be captured by Nabushi and treasure hoarders. Oh, is that so? Well, since you are testifying for him, I suppose I won't ask any more questions. But since you're here, I have an extra favor to ask. I'd like you to be Shikanoin's temporary supervisor. It'll be your duty to ensure that he handles his case properly, and that he doesn't disappear and neglect his work again. I'll be sure that the police station prepares the appropriate compensation. Oh, uh, yes, Traveler. I I'm sure we'd all really appreciate it. Hmm. Heizu seems to be happy with the idea. <laughs> you should thank the Traveler this time, Doshin Shikanoin. Otherwise, I don't think I would have let you off so easily. Here, take this letter of complaint. It's written against you. Please consider carefully what to do with it. I do not wish to see another one. Understood? Huh? Someone filed a complaint? <laughs> that can't be right. Why would there be a complaint letter? Uh, you must not be doing your job properly, and now you're attracting complaints. No, it really doesn't add up. You two don't get it. Although Madame Kujosara just made some harsh remarks, we all know that Heizo Senpai is a real whiz when it comes to cracking cases. He's the biggest asset on our team. Several leaders have risen through the ranks as a result of his achievements. He's definitely no slacker. Then he must have gotten himself into some kind of trouble. Well, let me see what's the deal here. Oh, and since you agreed to be my temporary supervisor, you'll find the desk where new case files are kept right over there. Would you mind helping me check what cases I need to deal with? <laughs> of course. But first, I have to confirm what's going on, and whether or not the letter's legit. Please, have a look at the case files first.
Weasel talks fraud. So, have you gone through the case files? Is there anything that caught your eye? Oh, have they approved it already? <laughs> the Tenryo Commission certainly has become more efficient ever since Kujo Kamiji took office. Hazotox fraud. It's an anti-fraud public awareness event. Basically, think of it as a short play about fraud. We'll get a few people to perform an entertaining drama in order to raise public awareness about the issue. Ooh, so it's a play? Paima likes the sound of that. <laughs> well, see, fraud is a major issue here. You've traveled between different nations. I'm sure Mora isn't really an issue for you. You have to understand that scamming the poor of their money is essentially robbing them of their lives. Left unchecked, the situation could potentially deteriorate into something more... serious. Hmm, that makes sense. But will putting on a performance really work? It's hard to say. Preventing crimes is more difficult than solving them, there's no doubt about that. But prevention is also a more worthwhile cause. Maybe only a small number of people who attend the event will ever actually encounter a scam artist. And even then, of the handful of attendees who encounter said scam artist, I doubt many of them will be able to see through the scammer's ruse. But if even only one person escapes the clutches of a scam artist because of my event, then I'm willing to put on this play for that person. All right, count us in! Today we are the <laughs> Great. First, we need three actors, two to play the scam artists and one to play the victim. I already have a couple candidates in mind for the roles of the scam artists, so come with me to the Grand Narukami Shrine. Narukami Shrine, are you planning to recruit Nico for your play? She'd be really good at acting. <laughs> well, I guess you'll have to wait and see. Hey, Zo, what are you doing here, you little brat? Oh, and the traveler, too. So, I assume you're here to see Lady Yae? <laughs> hey, come on, cuz. Maybe I'm just here to see you. <laughs> Don't play your little games with me. If the Traveler isn't looking for Lady Yae, then you must be here looking for Etsu, right? You still know me best, cuz. Please wait here. I'll go get her. Ah, so we're not here to see Miko? Bummer. I'm flattered, but even if I wanted to... Do you really think I could convince Lady Yai to join a little event like mine? Get the Traveler to ask her next time. She can do it. Well, hello, Detective Hazo. It's been so long since you last came to see me. You know, it's cruel to keep a girl waiting. Hey, community service isn't all bad, is it? I'm sure it's better than prison, at least. That's right. I was careless and found myself caught up in a case of fraud. Detective Hazo arrested me, and I was sentenced to prison. For the record, I'm not the one who technically arrested you. Oh, come now, Detective Hazo. Don't pretend like you don't remember the part you played. You have a cold heart, Detective. Colder than an icicle in the middle of winter. How would those Doshin have nabbed me if you hadn't provided evidence of my involvement and whereabouts, hmm? They were so bland and functional. Not like you, Detective. When you took me down, you knew exactly what you were doing. So, uh, how did you and... 
end up here at the shrine. I'm here doing community service, of course. After all the information Detective Hazo managed to squeeze out of me, he promised to help secure a reduced sentence from the court. But in the end, they hardly reduced my sentence at all. Even after serving a lengthy prison term, I am still required to perform community service. I have to spend the entire day sweeping leaves or wiping floors. Just look at what the work has done to my soft and delicate hands. <sighs> so, don't believe a word that comes out of his mouth. I helped you get community service because you were credited with assisting the investigation. But if you find it too exhausting, I can always send you back to prison again. Oh, come on, Detective Hazo. Now you're just toying with me. Don't give me that. Listen, I'd like to invite you to the anti-fraud event I mentioned last time. It's tomorrow night, and you'll be a VIP guest. Let's see. Appearing in the event would be equivalent to... What? Five days of community service? How does that sound? Only five days? That's hardly anything. Five days not enough? Okay. How about four days? Hey! That's a day less than what you just promised me, Detective Hazo. Oh, my mistake. Three days. Uh, all right, I'll go. Just stop playing with my heart. And may I ask, will they also be coming as a guest tomorrow night? No wonder you're treating me so coldly today, Detective Hazo. Looks like you found someone else to keep you company. And what a charmer they are. I get what you see in them. I mean, you'd have to be blind not to. Atsu, now's not the time. If I hear you talking like that to my friend again, I'll make your community service even more unpleasant than your time in prison. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had no idea they were your friend. Uh, really. Well, now you do. Just be sure you're ready tomorrow. I'll send you the location, time of the event, and the script. So don't be late. All right, on to our next candidate. He should be in town right about now. Yeah. Mr. Iba, how are you doing? Oh, well, if it isn't Hazo. Thanks to you, I haven't kicked the bucket yet. Well, it's good to see you're alive. And, and well. All right, out with it. I know you wouldn't come see me for nothing. <laughs> I see you're still sharp as ever, Mr. Iba. Look, 
Have you had a chance to think about that anti-fraud event I mentioned to you last time? You can forget it. I'm pushing 71 this year. You think I want to make a fool of myself? Are you sure? You know, this event is very well funded. And now that the sock... I heard that your granddaughter Kazumi wants to take the chance to travel. If you participate, she can go without worrying about money at all. Huh? How did you know? Sure, I paid a hefty fine at the time, but I can still afford her travels. You're Heizo's colleague, aren't you? How haven't you heard about this? Well, it just so happens that Mr. Iba was a well-known figure in Inazuma back in the day. His Iba trading guild was even bigger than the current International Trade Association. Don't bring it up again. If I hadn't been misled by that foreign merchant, I never would have become a commercial scammer. Fortunately, young Heizo here has some respect for the elderly and applied for a probationary sentence. Otherwise, I don't think I would have ever seen the light of day again. Well, if Hazel was so good to you, then you should help him out too. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> He's not as innocent as he looks, you know. He just knows it's easier to get information when we're chatting outside. Ask him if you don't believe me. <laughs> Those are some pretty harsh words, Mr. Eva. Uh, anyway, I can't help you with that, uh, event, or whatever you call it. Ah, man alive. What should I do now? I already told Kazumi that you'd show up and caution everybody about avoiding fraud. I'm sure it'd be beneficial for everyone, and Kazumi even agreed to come and listen. How can I explain to her that you were too worried about being embarrassed? Oh, she might even think that you feel no remorse at all. You... you imbecile! You should have told me about this first! Come on now, how could I have known that you'd refuse to participate? Why, you... <sighs> you sure are a crafty one, just like your father. So you'll join us? What choice do I have? <laughs> Using my granddaughter to force me into some event. People these days. <laughs> the world needs you to step up. I will send the time and place of the event as well as the script. So don't forget to prepare. All right, all right. Very well. Well then... Now, we only need to find the last person to play the role of the fooled victim. We don't want someone too clever for this role. Otherwise, they'd see right through this ruse and the drama would come to a grinding halt. Hmm... Not too clever... <gasps> oh! Paimon knows the perfect candidate! Oh yeah, I know that guy. I've seen him in the police station a handful of times. Though I've never actually spoken to him before. Do you know where we can find him? Well, we did just see a file called the Prince of Mischief in Hanamizaka. That's gotta be Ito. He must be in Hanamizaka. All right, then. To Hanamizaka we go. Oh, but knowing his reputation, I'll need to bring a little something along just to guarantee we can secure his participation. You go ahead. I'll catch up. The wind knows me. How about that, kiddo? My little prince of mischief's got some moves, huh? Guess that means your Onikabuto is now my Onikabuto. <laughs> Huh? Oh, Paimon! My compadre! This is a nice surprise. What brings you out this way? What? No! No, no, it's not... No, it's nothing like that. They let me look after their own Ikabuto, just for a little while, for safekeeping, and then, uh, you know, once they've gotten stronger, they can come and take him right back. You win some, you lose some... <laughs> That's right, my little guy. Good attitude. All right, see you around. <laughs> yeah, bye. There's just no helping this guy. Oh, an anti-fraud event? 
Ah, I'll level with you, compadre. I have no idea what that is, but uh, if you want me there, I can think of nowhere I'd rather be. Oh, except that there's this Onikabuto Battle Royale tomorrow night that I was planning on going to. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be huge. <laughs> no holds barred, winner takes home all the Onikabuto. And, uh, as you can see, my Prince of Mischief has a pretty good chance of winning this thing, so, uh, ah, if it was any other day, you know? Do you think all of those Onikabuto together would be a match for my one? Here's a picture. Let me know what you think. Huh? Whoa, whoa, what this? What is this? How did it get so big? What are you feeding this thing? Look at those beautiful demon stripes. Those, those razor sharp horns. Is this the fabled Emperor Onikabuto? This is a small token we provide for VIPs. If you're willing to attend, then one of these will be yours at the end of the event. Whoa, okay. I'm there. <laughs> Wait a sec. You look familiar. Who are you anyway? And furthermore, do Onikabuto really come in this size? You're not trying to con me, are you? Because the more I think about it, the more I'm inclined to think that you're a contestant in tomorrow night's Onikabuto Battle Royale. Yeah, you lost to me in a previous beetle battle, and now you're trying to get the reigning champ out of the way. Without Prince of Mischief to contend with, you'll be free to sweep in and take all the Onikabuto. Am I right or am I right? Nice try, you little punk. Ten out of ten for the pitch, but, uh, you picked the wrong victim. Okay, okay. Then again, consider this. If your Prince of Mischief isn't competing, what's the point of me taking part? After all... All I'd stand to win is a bunch of puny little larvae. No? Well, uh, uh, huh. You've stumped me there. <laughs> you, uh, you are completely right. I can't believe I didn't think of that. <laughs> Sorry, my bro. My main man, my buddy. I had you all wrong. So, are you sure this guy's our best choice? Yeah, see? He was already wondering if you were trying to con him. Then allow me to introduce myself. I'm Shikanoin Heizo. I've seen you around a few times before at the police station. Huh? Oh, yeah, I remember now. No wonder you looked so familiar. You were that guy who was in for stealing other people's Onikabuto, right? Listen, Heizo, hombre, did you apologize to them? You can lose like a man, you can win like a man, but you can never steal like a man. And that's a little Ito nugget. Uh, Ito! He works there, for crying out loud! He's not one of your fellow inmates! What? Oh, jeez! Ah, uh, what's wrong with me? How could I forget? Of course I know you. I remember you now. For real, <laughs> this time. You're the guy who sells lavender melons at the station, aren't you? A lavender melon seller? At the police station? Don't be ridiculous! I know what I saw, okay? Several times now I've been sitting there starving in jail when this guy comes and slips me a few lavender melons on the sly. Didn't even want payment. Solid guy. Yeah, that was me. But it was only because your assistant, Kuki Shinobu, asked me to look out for you. What? So Shinobu was behind it? Wait, I... I so, hombre, you're, you're... You're not a lavender melon seller? Look, we're... We're getting hung up on all the wrong details here. The important detail right now is that I am the host of tomorrow night's event. And if you show up, the only Kabuto in the picture is yours. Deal? Deal! Done! But, uh, could I get another look at that picture first? Just, uh, a little peeksy? You'll have all the time in the world to inspect the real article once the event's over. Uh, okay, sure. I can wait. So, uh, hombre, is there anything I need to do to prepare? Because if I'm doing this, I'm bringing my A-game, all right? No half measures here. I'm going to do this right. He sure picks his moments to start acting responsibly. Okay. So for this event, you, my, uh, <clears throat> bro, will be participating in a short anti-fraud play along with two other VIP attendees. The main thing we ask is that you just relax. Try not to be nervous. I have the script, uh, right here, if you want to take a... SCRIPT! <laughs> it sounds like someone's never seen the Arataki gang perform before, huh? 
Don't you worry, hombre. The Arataki gang is a little beyond the need for scripts. You'll see. This Oni Kabuto will be well worth your investment. You, uh, don't need a script? Wow. Well, now I'm excited. See you there tomorrow night. You bet. I'll be there. I'm gonna tell the gang about this, too. They'll all be there to support us. It's almost time. Everyone ready? All right. Then let's get this show started. Oh, I can't wait, Mr. Hazo. Let's get going, Hazo. Emperor Oni Kabuto, hang in there, Your Highness. I'm coming for you. It takes years to make a fortune, but only a moment to lose it all to a scam artist. Welcome to the first Hazo Talks Fraud. I am your eponymous host, Hazo. Okay, I'm delighted to have you all here today to explore the topic of fraud. To help everyone avoid becoming the victim of scam artists themselves, we thought we'd invite several VIPs with a lot of experience in this area to perform a little play with an anti-fraud message. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Miss Etsu, Mr. Iba, and the venerable gentleman, Mr. Arataki Ito. Without further ado, let the show begin. <clears throat> it was just another bright, sunny day when a distressed Miss Etsu brought her elderly grandpa, Eva, into the police station to report a crime. There, they were greeted by a kindly Doshin, surname Harataki. Doshin Harataki, please help us! My poor grandpa has been defrauded! Doshin Harataki? I, uh, <laughs> you're talking to me. <clears throat> Perhaps for want of familiarity with the script, a confused look creeps over Doshin Arataki's face, and he asks himself that age-old question. Who am I? Yes! You are Doshin Arataki! <laughs> You're Doshin Arataki! Oh, so I'm this I, I'm in the play. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay, got it. I'm I'm a Doshin, of course. Okay, <clears throat> I got this. Ma'am, can you tell who it was that defrauded your grandfather? Rest assured, the Tenryo Commission and I are here to bring them to justice. I don't know. It was too late when I found out. They took all of my grandpa's money, and all they left was this note. Doshin Arataki frowns as he realizes this is more complicated than he thought. He takes the note in his hand and reads it out loud. 
I am the Raiden Shogun. I am currently being held hostage by the Crux fleet and urgently need 200,000 Mora to secure my release. Please place the Ransom Mora on the north coast of the deserted island. When all of this is over, I will promote you to General of the Tenryo Commission. It's the Almighty Shogun! Ahem. <clears throat> we cannot let Her Excellency come to harm. Uh, but sh this is a scam, surely. I mean, 200,000 Mora? Kind of lowballing it for the Electro Archon, don't you think? Shouldn't it be like, uh, 300,000 at the very least? Well, I sure thought so, but Grandpa's already parted with the money. Well, then we gotta get it back. I is there still time? Before I could go out to look for it, Grandpa received another note. Doshin Arataki takes the note and reads it out loud. I am Miss Hina. I am currently raising funds to publish a photo book. I urgently need 300,000 Mora for publishing fees. In return for your support, you will receive a limited edition signed photograph. It's Miss Hina. <clears throat> we can't leave poor Miss Hina in a tight spot. You're right, Gramps. Is 300,000 Mora enough? I, I can spare some too if we need to make up the difference. Maybe I can get a photo of Miss Hina too. I mean, uh, we gotta help Miss Hina out here. It's a scam, Doshin Arataki! Snap out of it! Oh, right, yeah, no, yeah, because if Miss Hina needed funds, she'd come to me first, you know, uh, as her number one fan. Why would she go asking this old geezer for help? <laughs> These con artists don't know who they're up against. <laughs> well, anyway, not long after Grandpa handed over the money, he received yet another note. Doshin Arataki grabs the note and reads it aloud. I am Arataki Ito. I was recently framed for a crime I totally did not commit, and now I'm stuck here in prison. I am in urgent need of 500,000 Mora as bail. In return for your help getting me out, I will bring the whole gang over to thank you personally at your house. Must be a scammer, surely. <clears throat> I've never heard of this person, and they're asking me for 500,000 Mora. Wait a minute. This is a scam. I'm Arataki Ito. Uh, you are? But your name tag says... Doshin Arataki follows Miss Etsu's gaze to the name tag emblazoned on his chest, which reads, Arataki Shmito. What kind of whack job script is this? Am I me or ain't I? So, the bail money? Nope, no way, not a chance. Arataki Ito would never ask innocent people for Mora in order to post bail. Whoever wrote this is a liar and a cheat. And we gotta get out there and get this guy off our streets. But just as Doshin Arataki is being overcome with righteous indignation, the sound of Miss Etsu's weeping brings his attention back to her. <laughs> Miss Etsu, don't you worry. We're gonna catch the people who did this. Even if you do catch them, how are we ever going to get Grandpa's money back? Oh, whatever are we going to do about all those Onikabuto? Onikabuto? Wait, uh, what, what was that about the, uh, Onikabuto? Oh, well, Grandpa is a major Onikabuto breeder in our village. His are the biggest and strongest Onikabuto around. People come from far and wide to buy from him. We recently received an order that was too big for our current capacity. We were planning to expand Grandpa's facilities, but then we were swindled out of all of our money. <laughs> right after we'd signed the contract, too! If we don't deliver these Onikabuto on time, Grandpa will have to pay huge damages. Oh, what are we going to do? Man, what's that saying? It's like, um, uh, it never rains, but it snowballs. <sighs> so exactly what we're dealing with. Etsu, my dear, don't worry. I'll sell the house if I have to. We'll find a way through. But then where will we stay? <laughs> Please help us, Doshin Arataki. All we need is the 500,000 Mora that was taken from us. Can you help us raise it? Or, or maybe you could lend it to us? 
Grandpa's business is going very well. We just need help getting over this hurdle. Doshi Narutaki, please. If you lend us the money, I'm sure I can make it up to you by... I won't hear of it. As a public servant, I would never dream of taking advantage of a person in need. I was going to say, but... It's almost time. Everyone ready? All right. Then let's get this show started. Oh, I can't wait, Mr. Hazo. Let's get going, Hazo. Emperor Oni Kabuto, hang in there, your highness. I'm coming for you. It takes years to make a fortune, but only a moment to lose it all to a scam artist. Welcome to the first Hazo Talks Fraud. I am your eponymous host, Hazo. Okay, I'm delighted to have you all here today to explore the topic of fraud. To help everyone avoid becoming the victim of scam artists themselves, we thought we'd invite several VIPs with a lot of experience in this area to perform a little play with an anti-fraud message. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Miss Etsu, Mr. Iba, and the venerable gentleman, Mr. Arataki Ito. Without further ado, let the show begin. <clears throat> it was just another bright, sunny day when a distressed Miss Etsu brought her elderly grandpa, Eva, into the police station to report a crime. There, they were greeted by a kindly Doshin, surname Harataki. Doshin Harataki, please help us! My poor grandpa has been defrauded! Doshin Harataki? I, uh, <laughs> you're talking to me. <clears throat> Perhaps for want of familiarity with the script, a confused look creeps over Doshin Arataki's face, and he asks himself that age-old question. Who am I? Yes, you are Doshin Arataki! <laughs> You're Doshin Arataki! Oh, so I'm this I, I'm in the play. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay, got it. I'm I'm a Doshin, of course. Okay, <clears throat> I got this. Ma'am, can you tell who it was that defrauded your grandfather? Rest assured, the Tenryo Commission and I are here to bring them to justice. I don't know. It was too late when I found out. They took all of my grandpa's money, and all they left was this note. Doshin Arataki frowns as he realizes this is more complicated than he thought. He takes the note in his hand and reads it out loud. I am the Raiden Shogun. I am currently being held hostage by the Crux fleet and urgently need 200,000 mora to secure my release. Please place the ransom mora on the north coast of the deserted island. When all of this is over, I will promote you to General of the Tenryo Commission. It's the Almighty Shogun! <clears throat> we cannot let Her Excellency come to harm. Uh, but sh this is a scam, surely, I mean... 200,000 mora? Kinda lowballing it for the Electro Archon, don't you think? Shouldn't it be like, uh, 300,000 at the very least? Well, I sure thought so, but Grandpa's already parted with the money! Well, then we gotta get it back. I is there still time? Before I could go out to look for it, Grandpa received another note! Doshin Arataki takes the note and reads it out loud. I am Miss Hina. I am currently raising funds to publish a photo book. I urgently need 300,000 mora for publishing fees. In return for your support, you will receive a limited edition signed photograph. It's Miss Hina. <clears throat> we can't leave poor Miss Hina in a tight spot. 
You're right, Gramps. Is 300,000 more enough? I, I can spare some, too, if we need to make up the difference. Maybe I can get a photo of Miss Hina, too. I, I mean, uh, we gotta help Miss Hina out here. It's a scam, Doshin Arataki! Snap out of it! Oh, right, yeah, no, yeah, because if Miss Hina needed funds, she'd come to me first, you know, uh, as her number one fan. Why would she go asking this old geezer for help? <laughs> These con artists don't know who they're up against. <laughs> well, anyway, not long after Grandpa handed over the money, he received yet another note. Doshin Arataki grabs the note and reads it aloud. I am Arataki Ito. I was recently framed for a crime I totally did not commit, and now I'm stuck here in prison. I am in urgent need of 500,000 mora as bail. In return for your help getting me out, I will bring the whole gang over to thank you personally at your house. Must be a scammer, surely. <clears throat> I've never heard of this person, and they're asking me for 500,000 mora. Wait a minute. This is a scam. I'm Arataki Ito. Uh, you are? But your name tag says... Doshin Arataki follows Miss Etsu's gaze to the name tag emblazoned on his chest, which reads, Arataki Shmito. What kind of whack job script is this? Am I me or ain't I? So, the bail money? Nope, no way, not a chance. Arataki Ito would never ask innocent people for Mora in order to post bail. Whoever wrote this is a liar and a cheat. And we gotta get out there and get this guy off our streets. But just as Doshin Arataki is being overcome with righteous indignation, the sound of Miss Etsu's weeping brings his attention back to her. Miss Etsu, don't you worry. We're gonna catch the people who did this. Even if you do catch them, how are we ever going to get Grandpa's money back? Oh, whatever are we going to do about all those Onikabuto? Onikabuto? Wait, uh, what, what was that about the uh, Onikabuto? Oh, well, Grandpa is a major Onikabuto breeder in our village. His are the biggest and strongest Onikabuto around. People come from far and wide to buy from him. We recently received an order that was too big for our current capacity. We were planning to expand Grandpa's facilities, but then we were swindled out of all of our money. <laughs> right after we'd signed the contract, too. If we don't deliver these Onikabuto on time, Grandpa will have to pay huge damages. Oh, what are we going to do? Man, what's that saying? It's like, um, uh, it never rains, but it snowballs. <sighs> exactly what we're dealing with. Etsu, my dear, don't worry. I'll sell the house if I have to. We'll find a way through. But then where will we stay? <laughs> Please help us, Doshin Hartaki. All we need is the 500,000 mora that was taken from us. Can you help us raise it? Or... or maybe you could lend it to us? Grandpa's business is going very well. We just need help getting over this hurdle. Doshin Arataki, please. If you lend us the money, I'm sure I can make it up to you by... I won't hear of it. As a public servant, I would never dream of taking advantage of a person in need. I was going to say, by giving you part ownership of the Onikabuto farm. Oh, so that's what you were, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not as enticing an offer as I was. Uh, wait, well, uh, uh, an Onikabuto farm, how many Onikabuto did you say you have? Because if it's more than, say, ten... Ten thousand. What? Ten thousand? Well, th that's more Onikabuto than I've seen in my whole life. Please help us. As long as we get through this... Those 10,000 Onikabuto are yours to keep. 10,000 Onikabuto. Hey, if, if, if I looked after them, they'd have little baby Onikabuto. And then the, the little baby Onikabuto would grow up and have little baby Onikabuto of their own. Doshin Arataki is struck by a sudden wave of pure elation. His face breaks into a big beaming smile. 
But what does he do next? Misetsu, don't you worry. I'm gonna help you out. But 10,000 is too many. I can only accept 1,000. Wait, uh, no, what am I saying? 500 Onikabuto. As a Doshin of the Tenryo Commission, it is my duty to serve. How could I abuse my position to take advantage of you? That's great news, Master Arataki. What a wonderful person you are. So strong and handsome and committed to doing the right thing. It's rare to find these days. <laughs> yep, that's me. All right, there's just one final question that needs answering. What question is that? The question is... Where's my Mora? Huh. Yo, Hazo, my ombre, a uh, question for you. What's my key? Inheritance or other lump sums I should know about? Uh, basically, can I afford this 500,000 Mora? I mean, Shmito. Can sh I can afford it. <laughs> can Shmito. Ahem. Faced with a damsel in distress, Doshin Arataki fights to remain level-headed and asks that other age-old question. Where's my Mora? Suddenly, he feels a strange compulsion to slide his hand into his pocket where, it turns out, a bank check has been quietly nestled all along. He draws the check out and inspects it. Today is payday, and this is his salary. The amount? 500,000 mora. Whoa, check it out! A check for 500,000 mora! <laughs> Where'd you come from, buddy? Misatsu, get this. Turns out I just got paid 500,000 mora today. Well, here's your mora. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Master Arataki, what's wrong? Doshin Arataki stretches out his hand. But wait, just as he is about to hand over the check to Miss Etsu, he hesitates, tightly pinching one end of the check betwixt his two fingers. All he needs to do now is release the check, and it will fall into Miss Etsu's eager hands. But let go of the check he does not. Master Arataki! Let go! Wait, wait. Something's not right. Doshin Arataki is having second thoughts. Has something caught his attention? Has it aroused his suspicion? Has he finally realized the truth? So, uh, this is an anti-fraud show, right? Huh? Uh, <clears throat> A spark of intuition bursts to life in Doshin Arataki's mind. Since this is an anti-fraud event, I have a question. Is he about to ask the most critical question of all? I gotta ask. This is it. Here it comes. Does a Doshin really get paid this much? 500,000 mora. Enough to get an Electro Archon out from a hostage situation, then go pay for Miss Hina's publishing costs. You telling me the average Doshin can do all that on one pay packet? I don't know, seems pretty fishy to me. Hey, compadre, what do you think? Am I being scammed here? As the spark of intuition flickers and threatens to fade, Doshin Arataki clutches around in desperation, hoping to find a source of fuel to feed the flames of enlightenment. Traveler, are you going to help this poor man out of his predicament? Aha! Etsu and Iba! So that's what's going on here! You two are the scam artists! You put on this damsel in distress and elderly grandpa act to win my sympathy, then used a few cheap tricks to get my attention. Then you dangled the bait in front of me, waiting for me to bite. <sighs> Darn it. I knew it. Who in their right mind would give away Oni Kabuto for free, let alone 10,000 of them? It's too good to be true, and that's how I know you're the scam artists. You got a lot of nerve trying to scam a Doshin. You're coming with me, and you'll give a full confession if you know what's good for you. Finally, with the help of his intuition and a little guidance from beyond the void, Doshin Arataki successfully avoided being defrauded. Not only that, but he asked a critical question. Who in their right mind would give away Oni Kabuto for free? I ask you all, is there such a thing as free Oni Kabuto?
free Mora? Or does nothing in life come for free? All right, remember, it takes years to make a fortune, but only a moment to lose it all to a scam artist. Thank you once again for watching Hazo Talks Fraud. Stay alert, everybody, and see you again next time. So, how's my acting? I think I did just fine without a script. Those two would-be scam artists need to up their game if they want to have a chance of taking me down. Uh, hello? Without that hint from the Traveler, you would have handed that cash away without a second thought. Right, yeah. I should thank her for the timely hint. But I pretty much knew off the bat that something fishy was about to go down, so, uh, you know, it was just a matter of time before I saw right through their scam. <laughs> Seriously, oldest trick in the book. Who's gonna fall for that? Old trick. But the reason they've stood the test of time is that the ideal victim is always out there somewhere. People who are behind on the times, naive, socially isolated, or have cognitive deficiencies. Just because they don't always get noticed doesn't mean they're not there. Scammers cast a wide net. Sure, maybe 10,000 fish will escape, but they only need one catch for them to win and for us to lose. Well, no more losing from now on. Not with me here to protect everyone. I think we can all agree that my performance today shows I'm savvy enough to keep the scammers at bay. <laughs> Don't be too confident. Anyway, Ito, my old... What was it again? Ah, yes, bro. Here's the reward you were promised. Ah, music to my ears. Emperor Oni Kabuto, come to Papa. Whoa, ho, ho. look at those sharp horns and those beautiful stripes. I... Well, hold on. Uh, Hazo, <laughs> my ombre, why won't it move? Hey, bud, move. Oh, no, I think this one might have uh, joined the big beetle battle in the sky. It's a figurine, so not the moving kind. What? A figure? So, it's a fake? Man alive, you seem a little surprised. Wait, you didn't actually think this was a real Onikabuto, did you? <laughs> no, surely not. Ito, old chap, you must have seen from the photograph that it was a figurine. Don't tell me you didn't notice. Really? <laughs> you little punk! Give me my Emperor Oni Kabuto now! It's almost time. Everyone ready? All right. Oh, I can't. Let's get going. Emperor Oni Cup. It takes years to make. Okay. To help everyone, of please join me, Miss Etsy, Mr. Eva, and the Venerable. J Without further ado. <clears throat> it was just. Doshin Arata. Doshin. <clears throat> yes. Oh, so. <sighs> Ma'am. I don't know. 
It was too late when I found out. They took Doshin Art. I am the. It's the Almighty. Uh. Well, I should. Well, then. Before I could go out. Doshin Art. I am Miss. It's Miss Hina. You're right, Gramps. Is three hundred thousand more? It's a scam, Doshin Artaki. So oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> He's. Well, anyway. Doshin Artaki. I am. Doshin Arataki. What kind of whack job? So. Nope, no way, not a chance. Arataki Ito wouldn't. But just as Doshin. <laughs> Misetsu, don't you. Even if you do. Oni Kabuto. Oh, well, we recently received an order that was too big for our current capacity. We were planning to expand Grandpa's facilities, but then we were swindled out of all of our money. <laughs> right after we'd signed the contract, too. If we don't deliver these Onikabuto... Man, what's that? That's who my... But then we... Please help Grandpa's business... I won't hear of it. I was go... Oh, so that's what you were... Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not as enticing. Because if it's more than... Ten thousand. What? Ten thousand? Well, uh, that's more Onikabuto than I've seen in my whole life. Please help us. Ten thousand. Doshin Arataki is struck by a sudden wave of pure elation. Miss Etsu, don't you worry. I'm gonna... But ten thousand as a Doshin of the... That's great news. <laughs> what quest... The question... Huh. Yo, hey, ahem. Suddenly... Whoa, check it out! A check! Misetsu, get... Thank you so... Doshin Arataki... All he needs to do... Master Arataki... Wait. Doshin Arataki... So... Huh? A spark of into since this is is he about to act? I gotta this is it. Huh? Does a Doshin really get paid this uh, five hundred thousand more? I don't know. Sky <sighs> Traveler. You follow my heart. Alright then. There's no way a Doshin makes five hundred thousand more in a single pay packet. Two innocent victims, Miss Etsu and Mr. Iba, come to a Doshin for help. And the Doshin, what, whips out a 500,000 Mora check? Yeah, likely story. There's only one possible explanation. Who's got two horns and carries around a fake checkbook? Yep, this guy. With this fake check for 500,000 Mora, I almost swindled Etsu and Iba out of 10,000 Onikabuto, the last thing these poor folks needed after the recent string of catastrophes they faced. My mind is blown. Craziest plot twist I ever heard. The criminal was the main character all along. Miss Etsu, I'm afraid I can't let myself give you this fake check. But I will do everything in my power to raise 500,000 genuine Mora for you. So don't you worry. What the? <clears throat> oh, jeez. In the end, Doshin Arataki listened to the voice of his heart and narrowly avoided being defrauded in his own unconventional way. But regrettably, he failed to ask the critical question. Who in their right mind would give away Oni Kabuto for free? I ask you all, is there such a thing as free Oni Kabuto? Free Mora? Or does nothing in life come for free? Thank you all for watching Hazo Talks Fraud. Don't get greedy and you won't be needy. Stay alert and you won't get hurt. You never know where scammers may lurk. See you all next time. My man. <laughs> Maybe someone should have read this. What? Huh? Well, darn. I can't believe. Well, yeah, but. Guessing it wasn't your. Uh, the trick is a com. But how am I. Don't blame yourself, old chap. In, in, in fact, you know what? I was also conned today. Yeah, me, of all people. Does that make you feel better? You too, hombre? No way. What? No, that's impossible. You're just trying to cheer me up. Oh, no, no, it's the truth. Please, just take a look at the present I got for you. Wait, uh, why can't it move? That's just it. I'm sorry to say, it's just a figurine. What? A figure? Y you mean, it's a fake? Uh, yeah, and it's all my fault. I was duped by the Onikabuto vendor's false advertising. What a colossal fool I am.
taken in by a common street vendor? Ugh. So you really were conned, dude. Let me take a second to let that sink in. Oh, gotta say, although I didn't get my Emperoni Kabuto, somehow, knowing that even Hazel got conned kinda puts me back in a good mood. It's, uh, strange. Maybe I'm sharper than I'm giving myself credit for. Great minds think alike, so, uh, me and my ombre here, kinda equally matched. <laughs> hey, by the way, compadre, looks like you're the only one out of the three of us who didn't get conned today. But you better watch out. We got fooled not because we were stupid, but because those scam artists are some crafty dastards. I want you to have this figurine as a reminder of the fact that today, Hazel and I both got conned, but we both grew a little wiser too. I hope that whenever you see it, you'll remember how cunning those con artists were and how difficult it was for Hazel and I to see through their schemes. Then, you'll always keep your wits about you, and you'll never become a victim yourself. Yep, that's right. No one will ever manage to con you. This scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. <laughs> 